this video, we are going looking for the biggest bony fish in the ocean, the Mola. Now, these ocean giants can reach weights of up to 5,000 pounds and be over three meters long. But they love to sit in really deep and really cold water. So we have got to go down there. Guys, the things I do for these videos, eh? I'm absolutely knackered. It's about 4.30 in the morning. Just picked up some tanks and we're gonna head now to a really cool spot on the other end of the island that hopefully will have a ton of mollas out at this time in the morning. So yeah, let's do it. We're down. Let's go find some mollas. Guys, the reef's looking awesome today. Super slack. Look at all these fish up in the water feeding. This is a spot where these big mollets come to be cleaned. So if we find one, or ten hopefully, we'll probably find that there's a big school of long fin bannerfish around them picking off parasites from their tough skin. This is where we're going to start looking for the mola out in the blue here. This is where they come in to be cleaned on the reef here. Now, there's a few long fin bannerfish out in the blue, but it is a little bit warm today, so I'm hoping that's not going to put them off. There's a bit of current now that's preventing us from swimming much further, but we're going to see if we can swim into it. Let's go. Still looking out into the blue, but nothing yet. Whoa, blue finch valley. Three of them. Four, four. Guys, there's no mullers just here, so we're gonna swim a bit further and see if we can find any around the corner. It also feels like it's a little bit cold around here as well, which is a good sign. I don't know whether you can see it, but there's loads of long fin banner fish swimming around in the blue. They're obviously waiting very patiently, so fingers crossed one of these big mollas might come in soon. I've got a video to make, I can't be waiting this long. Look at all these fish, they're everywhere. They're all getting pushed to the surface though, because there's a load of water coming up the slope. Diving here is great, but the conditions can be absolutely crazy. Let's hope they don't get too crazy today, eh? So far, it really was not worth waking up at 4.30 for this. Come on. Wow, turtle. There's a big green turtle just come out of the blue. Let's see if he comes close. We can tell this one's a green turtle and not a hawksbill because he's got a single pair of scutes in between his eyes. Guys, we're gonna have to head back to the surface soon. It's not looking good, that's for sure. Now, whilst this area is famous for being a hotspot for the Moller, there are also plenty of other fascinating creatures that call this reef home. As we headed shallower, we came across this big school of big eye barracuda that were illuminated by the early morning sun. Despite being small, these barracuda are fearsome predators. I don't know what this turtle's doing. He's sort of rubbing his belly on the sand. Maybe he's trying to get rid of something. That is weird. What are you doing, mate? I hope he's not got his arm stuck. Nope. Definitely not stuck. Just being a bit weird, it seems. I'll get an ID for the database because this one's a hawk's bill, so he might well have a name. And there's a little Mori here as well, look. Right, we'll leave him to it. Goodbye. Look at this little puffer. Do 
Okay. I'm not exactly sure what species this is, but I'll flash it up on the screen now. He's just digging around in the sand looking for a meal. Probably a crab or something. As you can see, they're perfectly adapted for blending into the sand. He's even got tons of sand on him for some reason. Guys, it's so nice down here this morning. It's actually pretty warm, which is good for me, but not good for spotting big fish, that's for sure. There's some more of these barracuda just here. Let's see if we can sneak up on them. Whoa, check this out, snake eel. This fantastic serpent-like creature is a banded snake eel. These snake eels are master mimics and closely resemble the highly venomous banded sea crate, both in appearance and the way that they swim through the water. Now, unlike the sea crates, these snake eels aren't venomous and only really pose a threat if you're a small crustacean or mollusk buried under the sand as they pass by. Given these guys are nocturnal, it was a real treat to see this one out hunting. See you later, mate. Enjoy your breakfast. Look at this guy digging around in the sand. This is a goatfish. Or it was a goatfish because he's now swimming away from me. If you look closer, you can see he's got two little barbules at the front of his mouth that he uses for rootsling around in the sand. There you go, now you can see them. If you're a little critter buried under the sand, that guy there is a not good news, that's for sure. Wow, guys, look at this sea crate. This is a banded sea crate. They are highly, highly venomous. Let's see if we'll come out and say hello. Now this is actually the species of sea crate that that snake eel we saw before is imitating. So you can see they have the same black and white stripe colour, so that snake eel is pretending that he's one of these guys. And here he goes. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit scary, but we're still alive, so that's good. Guys, no mollusk today, but I guess that just means we'll have to come back again. So, I will see you back underwater for Moller Dive number three. Let's do it. Whoa! It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. The water is very chilly today, so fingers crossed there's going to be some mollusks. And now this way. Let's go. It is looking smoky down there today. This fish here is the long fin banner fish. You can see their long dorsal spine. And this is the fish that cleans the mola mola. So this is a really good sign. Oh yeah, it's getting really cold now. Yeah, it's still not that cold. Let's hope for 18 degrees. 
right, we're currently down at about 22 metres, but we're going to head a bit deeper because I think the mollas are going to be very deep today. Oh, the sun's come out. How lovely. Look at this big rock chomping parrotfish. See what we can see, it's nauseous. Whoa, look at the size of that. I bet he's got a big dental bill. Whoa, so cool. There's hundreds of them. Whoa, that's awesome. Oh, Mola, Mola, Mola. I see one. Ryan, Ryan. We found one, there's a mullet! Oh my word, yes. Right, we've got to be really quiet. There it is, guys, but it's swimming away. Please don't swim away! This is a massive mullet! Wow! And he's got a few of the little long fin banner fish on him cleaning him. Let's see if we can get closer. <laughs> we found one! I've got to be quiet though. Guys, this is the monster fish we came looking for, the Mola Alexandrini, otherwise known as the bump and sunfish. He is absolutely awesome. So, there are five species of Mola across the globe, but this one, the Mola Alexandrini, is the biggest of them all. Despite starting their lives at only about two and a half millimetres long, when fully grown, these prehistoric looking ocean giants can reach lengths of over three meters and weigh more than a small car. This one is probably about two and a half meters long. He is enormous. And you can see the big lockfin butterfish cleaning him. Despite being the biggest bony fish in the ocean, mollas actually have very few bones. And unlike most species of fish, they also lack a swim bladder. Mollas can be migratory and as adults, they feed primarily on jellyfish as they drift in the blue. These ones weren't here to feed though. Woohoo! That is the coolest thing ever! Yeah! He might stay here a little longer, let's see. Look at him, just swimming up towards the surface. <laughs> you can see here though now that the fusiliers are swimming this way, which isn't very good for me because I'm not going to swim super far to get through this current, but wish me luck. You can see as well how the mola only really has a dorsal fin and his anal fin. He doesn't really have a caudal or tail fin, which is very unique to these guys. This one is super friendly. Look at him. Guys, this, this is the best mullet cut I've ever had. I'm so happy. Woo! Right, let's leave him to it now. Goodbye. Guys, I may try again to find some more of these. If I do, here's the footage. If not, I will see you next time. The next day, we returned to the same site early in the morning, and we were treated to three mollas being cleaned on the reef. Despite heavy rains and gloomy conditions, we did manage to record some of the action.
Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you loved this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're in the mood for more, you'll probably like this video as well.